हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हैं आप लोग तो देखिए द शट डाउन ऑफ द अफगान एम्बेसी क्या यहाँ पे इंडिया अफगानिस्तान का रिलेशन कुछ खराब हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है कि क्या कॉज है इसके पीछे चलिए देखते हैं ऑन सेप्टेम्बर थर्टी स्टेटमेंट कैरिंग सील ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फॉरन अफेयर इन द इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ अफगानिस्तान अनाउंस द क्लोजर ऑफ एम्बेसी ऑफ अफगानिस्तान इन दिल्ली द अनाउंसमेंट हैज बीन एंटिसिपेटेड फॉर a while especially after report which stated that a letter has been sent from the mission to the um, uh, to the mission to the ministry of external affair in, uh, informing it to impending closure in its official communication the embassy of afghanistan blamed multiple factor including lack of cooperation from the government of india and lack of resources to operate any further further furthermore the embassy has uh, urge the indian government to fly and flag of the islamic republic of afghanistan over embassy premise it has also asked new delhi to hand over the mission to a legitimate government of afghanistan sometime in future is it turning point for afghanistan and india relation dekhiye kya hai the embassy represented the islamic republic of afghanistan that was deposed through a military campaign by the taliban on august 15 2021 the taliban fighter who quickly took over all the major cities and infrastructure of the country as the us forces carried out a massive withdrawal were not recognized by indian india as a de facto rulers with the displacement of islamic republic of afghanistan the embassy of afghanistan in new delhi has begun to work as a stateless mission as it did not represent the current ruler of Kabul. that is Taliban with whom India has no diplomatic relationship in effect <coughs> in effect the embassy of afghanistan was performing a ceremonial or a symbolic role helping about afghan afghan citizen and travelers in india deal with difficulties that they have been facing because of lack of diplomatic relation between the two countries the mission had stopped representing an active state since august 2021 and was working as the coordinating agency moreover the ambassador of the previous regime of president ashraf ghani farid uh, munzade left india and has not been seen for over 3 months will the move affect travel and trade between afghanistan and india ab kya hai dekhiye afghanistan has trad- uh, traditionally maintained an embassy in delhi for two consulates in hyderabad and mumbai The consulates in Hyderabad and Mumbai have not shut down, and Zakia Workrat, the Consul General of Afghanistan Islamic Republic, has come out with a statement defying the embassy's announcement to close down its mission, stating that the consulates will continue to function as a part of solemn commitment towards thousands of the Afghan students, refugees, and traders. The announcement of the embassy of Afghanistan is expected to trigger confusion among Afghans in India, but the consulates are ex- expected to help them. तो आप देखिए कॉन्सुलेट्स जो मुंबई और हैदराबाद में वो तो बंद नहीं हो रहे बाकी आपकी एम्बेसी जो दिल्ली में थी वो बंद हो चुकी है डज दिस मीन इंडिया एंड अफगानिस्तान हैव नो रिलेशन डिस्पाइट द क्लोजर ऑफ द एम्बेसी इन दिल्ली इंडिया द अफगानिस्तान कंटिन्यूइंग एंगेजमेंट विद ईच अदर इन क्यूरियस इंडिया हैज बीन मेंटेनिंग अ टेक्निकल टर्म इन काबुल वेयर द स्टाफ प्रोवाइड्स वीजास टू अफगान ट्रेडर्स एंड ट्रैवलर्स टू दिल्ली देयर आर देयर आर two week uh, two weekly flights that carry afghan citizens and items to india india uses the flight while sending humanitarian assistance to afghan people that apart some indian goods are also entering afghanistan through other countries like iran and uae however these are indicative of the informal uh, informal nature of the relationship as formal diplomatic ties are unable to take off because of india refused to recognize taliban citing human, human rights abused by the regime so india taliban ko aap dekhiye yahan pe recognize nahi kar raha hai jis wajah se formal ties to nahi hai par informal ties idhar udhar ke raste se ho rahe hain will india and taliban ever establish normal ties india has not recognized taliban formally but indian diplomats have been engaged with taliban since the immediate aftermath of the fall of kabul in august 2021 indian diplomats have met the taliban representative in multiple location under the multilateral initiative like the recent moscow format dialogue on september 29 india sent a representative uh, representative to kazan uh, tatarstan in russia to engage with taliban under the moscow 
format dialogue that apart Taliban is quickly gaining the international recognition from rival powers like China which sent a new ambassador in, to Kabul in September. So China is doing good. Why is China doing it? It has to get natural resources from there and exploit the people from there and they just have to increase power and money. China is just a lot of selfish. If someone understands something, it's a lot of good. If you don't understand it, it's a lot of good. With Iran, Pakistan, the UAE, Russia, Qatar, China, warming ties with the Taliban. These are all countries you can see that the Taliban has recognized. In, uh, there is obvious pressure on India to reconsider its position on Taliban. The Taliban has been urging India to support it with its economic revitalization through projects like electric generation and road building work. India, however, has not yet indicated that it will review its position on the Taliban. The embassy of Afghanistan in Delhi is one of the oldest diplomatic address in the capital and India has never allowed the Taliban to operate from the address, even when it governed Afghanistan from 1996 to 2001. So, India is very clear. What do you want to do with India? What are India's ties? How important is Afghanistan for us? अफगान का लोकेशन ठीक है आप देखिए ये इंडिया है यहाँ पे अफगानिस्तान पाकिस्तान चाइना इंडिया ये बॉर्डर लगता है यहाँ पे एक मिनटका पास है जो ट्राई जंक्शन पे ये पार्ट है यहाँ पे एक मिनटका पास है ठीक है आप अगर ज्योग्राफी में पासेस पढ़ेंगे तो आप जानेंगे यहाँ पे मिनटका पास है तो अफगान और इंडिया का रिलेशन आपको देखना है हिस्ट्री में वो सारे रूलर्स देखिए जो अफगान गए थे और एक तो हिस्ट्री में आप देखिए दूसरा आप मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री में आप देखिए ये अफगान वॉर ठीक है आप ये देखिए और उसके बाद से आप ये चीज ध्यान रखिए इंडिया रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं कर रहा है बोल रहा है कि तालिबान को हम नहीं जानते वहां की जब लेजिटिमेट गवर्नमेंट आएगी लेजिटिमेट गवर्नमेंट आएगी हम उसको रिकॉग्नाइज करेंगे तालिबान 1996 से 2001 में भी वहां पर था पर इंडिया उसको एम्बेसी में नहीं एड्रेस से इंडियन इंडिया में जो अफगान की एम्बेसी है वहां से उसको नहीं रूल करने दिया था बोला था नहीं ये एड्रेस तालिबान के लिए नहीं है ये अफगानिस्तान के लिए तो बंद करना है कर दो इंडिया चाइना की तरह सेल्फिश नहीं है ना किसी से थोड़ा भी प्रेशर में इंडिया आता है इंडिया को फर्क नहीं पड़ता तालिबान जैसे टेररिस्ट ग्रुप को इंडिया रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं करेगा तो मतलब नहीं करेगा आपको जो स्टेप लेना है ले लो और अगर इतना ही है तो आप एम्बेसी क्यों बंद कर रहे हो अपना हैदराबाद और मुंबई में आपके काउंसलेट से उसको भी बंद करो ना तुम क्या मतलब ये बात कर रहे हो मेरे को समझ नहीं आ रहा धमकी दे रहे हो क्या तो कर दो उसको भी बंद कर दो हमें नहीं फर्क पड़ता तुम तालिबान और टेररिस्ट ग्रुप को हम तुम्हें रिकोगनाइज नहीं कर सकते तो थैंक यू एंड प्लीज वर्क हार्ड टू अचीव ऑल योर ड्रीम्स